All right, hello and welcome back. James Pfeiffer with ACCU. Coming to you today with why and how to use Vantica. So let's go ahead and start off with the why. In community association management, there are many ways in which we can receive information from our clients. Emails, text messages, faxes, believe it or not, that's still a thing. It comes in all sorts of different ways. Keeping track of that information and uh, making sure that it's available to your board or if you're a board member to you, or to make sure that it st sticks with the history of the association. All that information is not in one place and then it becomes very difficult to manage and when uh, something comes up in the future, it may not be there. So one of the advantages of utilizing Vantica and sending every email to support at accuinc.com and not to your manager is because we know how to distribute information. And for too many years, um, historically speaking, I think the association manager was always the point of contact for every vendor, every homeowner, every board member, every business partner, and that really bogged them down to the point where they were not able to perform their managerial responsibilities. But here at ACCU, we have a team of administrators that take these tickets in, um, so when the emails or the phone calls come in, they go to support, and then they distribute that support ticket directly to the place it needs to go to get you a faster response time. And from that, the accountability piece, which I'm going to dive in just a second and show you is absolutely fantastic in my opinion. Um, last thing I wanted to touch on is the reason it's so important to use our ticketing system and utilize Vantica is because if somebody in our organization goes on vacation or if we need to make a change uh, and staffing at any point in time, you don't have to change your routine. Uh, we'll put the appropriate people in place and you will not lose service. So if one of my managers goes on vacation and I need to assign their tickets to me, well, they're gone, that's something I can do uh, through the Vandica ticketing system. And so very important, and I think this is vital to our success. And so I'm gonna go ahead and go over this computer. We're gonna jump in over there, so come on, let's go. All right, so um, if you go to accuinc.com, you'll go to resident login, and I know that this is redundant, but now if you are on the Vantica homepage, you'll hit login again, and it'll take you to uh, Vantica. Now, the portion of Vantica you're about to see is the management side of Vantica. It's not what you're gonna see in your portal, but I think this is important for a better understanding of why we utilize it in the way which we do. So. We're gonna go ahead and jump on in, and uh, this is our test association, Presidential Valley, uh, one of my uh, favorite test associations, and we're gonna do a couple of things here. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna send a ticket to support at accuinc.com. And we're gonna do video test one uh, service request. All right, hello manager. I have a odor and odor coming from my master bathroom. Can you please send someone to help determine what it is? It's in. All right. While we wait, what's going to happen right now is that's being processed by our system and it's going to generate a ticket number. Um, we call it an XN number. The XN really just means ticket and you're going to rec receive something back and holding on to that XN number for the duration of that particular issue is going to be very important. Not starting a new thread each time, but trying to utilize that one thread through the whole ticket is going to be important and I'm going to show you why here in just a second. All right, so here we go. We've received our automatic response from uh, the system and it has generated a number here and this is gonna be very important in a second. I need to take this number here and go over and find it in Vandica real fast. We are going to search for that ticket number in our system and here we go. So uh, odor coming from a master bedroom, that was what was submitted. It's gone into our system and now it needs to be assigned. And so uh, we are going to edit this action item. It's going to go with the association presidential valley and we're going to assign this to Calvin Coolidge. Now, as you can see, this was a general inquiry from email. However, this needs to be a service request. And so we are going to change this to a service request. And what you just saw down here is now we have an option to assign a service provider. Um, and so we are going, we as ACCU, we come in here and we say, um, please go out to uh, Prez Valley uh, and uh, determine what is causing an odor in Calvin's unit. All right, and we are going to um, choose a service provider now. And my guy I like to pick on 
that is pure choice. So we're gonna update and select this. Now, let's jump over to your portal and see how things look from your end. All right, so this is the dashboard that you would see as an owner. You would come in here and uh, you go to my items. You send in the, the service request. When you come in here, you're going to find the service request right here. Here's that ticket number. There's that ticket number uh, for the homeowner. And here is the um, information that they need. This drop down is going to be very important here in a second. And so an automatic email was generated. They can uh, see the email was generated back to them. And what is really neat is they can reply in here and they can say, what time will the vendor be arriving? And they're going to hit update. And that comes right back to our management software system. And as you can see, it's right there. So now this communication is starting to build in here. And for everything that happens with this ticket through every process, um, whether or not another message goes out to the board, and I have to have to ask the board, board, um, this is normally uh, an owner expense that they are requesting uh, a loan payment to help pay for the service call, right? Something, something simple. Now we, we update and that, uh, that sends to the board. Now it's going to be in the board portal. That's not for this video. We'll do that later. Um, uh, but now the board's involved and we can see that uh, we have to update this ticket. This ticket's not been updated with that information. And we are going to now decline this thing because the board kind of came back and maybe said something along the lines of no i'm sorry that really is an owner expense we are not going to be paying for this they need to do it on their own so it's going to be declined um, and we are going to update this ticket they go in and they can read everything that happened on this ticket and see that it was in fact declined so a um, little bit of insight onto why using a ticketing system is vital for an organization like mine um, in order to be successful and so i urge you and all your neighbors to always use our support at accuinc.com and please do us a favor do not carbon the manager or any other staff member um, simply to support and from there we will take care of the rest that is our educational content for today uh, james pfeiffer with accu don't forget like subscribe to my youtube channel and until next time i look forward to bringing you new additional educational content. Thank you.